and decided to become self-employed as a company doctor because I wanted to raise capital to buy into a business of my own. So the model that I designed to raise capital was I would take a small fee for my services, as long as I had enough to feed us, uh, then I was very happy. But I would take a share of the upside. And I guess I was confident enough in the upside being there that I'd worked out you know, what I would need to do to raise the capital that I needed to buy into business. Whilst I was um, working as a self-employed consultant, I was talking to the, you know, the big four accountancy firms, 3i, banks, about just what I was doing and why I was doing it. You know, my interest was to buy into company. So I was approached by a small accountancy firm to see if I would be interested in becoming the managing director of a company called Clyde Bloors with a view over a few years to being able to buy a share in it. My initial reaction was it was too small. It was the smallest uh, of eight companies in the world doing what it did. My experience in consultancy was that quite often when you analyse what's going on in the business, you have to cut out some of the turnover because it's not profitable. And I thought with three million turnover, it didn't leave enough to cut out. I was then approached probably about a year later, um, same thing, and the chairman and chief executive at that time said he was going to back off as, as the CEO. And I said that I wouldn't do it, and I turned him down again. Because it came up a third time, I thought, you know, I've got to have a more in-depth look at it. Still think it's too small. But when I looked at the company, it had two fa three factory buildings on a piece of land on the retail site in Clyde Bank. And then I found out that during the good years when he was making profits and generating cash, he had bought shares on the stock market just for the company. So it was an investment company as well. And that would give me enough money to compensate for the low level of turnover. I thought there was an opportunity for consolidation in that sector. There were eight companies of which Clyde Bloors was the, the smallest. It had 3% share of the world market and seven competitors. So I decided to go ahead at that time and buy the company, or buy, I bought 29.9% of it. I didn't know who would sell, who was in, in the market, who of the competitors would be prepared to sell. So I decided to go and visit them all and speak to them about my plan. <laughs> and uh, eventually, well over five years from 92 to 97, we bought six of the remaining seven. So we went from having 3% share of the world market and seven competitors to having 55% share of the world market and having one competitor five years later. <laughs>